Many of you know him from the Crowd One Sunday School, where he every week shares how to structure your business and acquire a mindset of a winner. And he's part of Crowd One's team and one of the expert networkers in the industry with a large amount of knowledge and expertise as a business leader, as an author and motivational speaker. And I'm going to sit down with him now and talk about the transformation of leadership and where the key component is personal development. I am, of course, talking about international business philosopher Peter Jacobson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I thought it would be interesting to talk about personal development because looking at leadership today, it really is in a transformation. It's not you know, about leading people as followers. It's really about empowering people to step up as leaders. So I wanted to ask you, what is your take and why is personal development so important also in the business sector? Well, simple as there's no other way. Um, and you know, this has been my passion since the day I discovered from my mentor that you can actually design your own life. And he had a saying, he said, to think is to create. So if you've been thinking a little bit today, you also have been creating. And um, I thought it was amazing when I discovered, you know, that science has today uh, discovered that we have approximately 60,000 thoughts mm -hmm. a day. But we only have one thought at a time. And, you know, personal development, you heard a saying, positive thinking. Um, that's a good start. But I mean, uh, you don't uh, get positive if you keep your old mindset. So if you have 60,000 thoughts and only one at a time, it's pretty stupid to that single one to be negative. That's where it starts, kind of. So how would you say the best way to navigate around personal development? I mean, how did you, you had a mentor? What else have you done in your life to sort of inspire the viewers on how you, you know, start with personal development? Yeah, I think, I think it's important that realize that we all can do it. It's for everyone. But you got to be willing to change. You got to be willing to do some hard work and to put some hours in there both reading and listening and, and uh, taking control of yourself through discipline. And um, back to, I think, you know, when, when science tells us that we have 60,000 thoughts a day, uh, that's pretty much sums it up. So you are today nothing else than all these thoughts that summed up until today. So if you want to change something, you need to change the way you think. And we have a, a conscious mind and we have a subconscious mind. And uh, when people say this, is, this uh, in, the, in the good book it says uh, that you are nothing else than what you've been thinking all day long. That means that you know, my subconscious mind will pick it up if I have a, an, an um, repetition or an emotional involvement. So, so the conscious mind is where we read the day, we read people, we read, you know, this, this am amazing event, people and, and stuff with, through our senses, in, through our conscious mind, it comes in and turns into a picture. So when we use our senses, smell, you know, f uh, taste, yeah, everything, sight. it turns into a picture in our mind. And if we repeat that picture or have an emotional involvement, it goes back into our kind of uh, hard, hard drive, which is our subconscious mind. And if you want to know, 95% of all the decisions that you make during a day, you're not making. Your subconscious is. Mm. 
Some can correlate it to your intuition. So we need to trust our intuition even more. So looking out of, out of a business um, perspective, what are the key traits? Because a lot of personal development is to get to know yourself. You have to be able to connect with yourself, lead yourself to maybe be able to lead others. What would you say is the correlation of being a successful entrepreneur and really having gone down that path of personal development? And what could you just give three strategies to do? Well, it, it comes back to the old goal setting. You know, we've got to have dreams because the dreams gives us the driving force to do something to move forward. But also, when we have that dream, we've got to make a plan, put that plan into action. And there's no other way. People, they tend to say, you know, look at him, he got lucky. Luck has nothing to do with it because you make the choices. And some people have to find out the hard way, and some people have to find out the easy way. But we all have to find out. And it's also about becoming aware of your thoughts. That's a good beginning many times. We're sort of not really aware of them. Both yes and no, because um, I think when you, when you start realizing that you can read something positive, something good, and if you do it several times, uh, or you read the same kind of theme, several times, your subconscious will pick it up mm. because you repeat it. Mm. If you also have an emotional involvement, mm. like you set goals, you have some goals that really gives you that energy, your subconscious will pick it up. Mm. So it's about repetition, it's about doing it, it's mm. about taking action, mm. uh, and it's about discipline yourself mm. because most people don't want to do this. Mm because it's hard work. Mm. But also, I think it was when I was speaking to Jonas and you one a, a lot about the strategy of Crowd1, is also the aspect of education, that it's so important, that aspect. And that's a lot what you're doing with your Sunday school as well. Um, tell us a bit more about the educational component in order to drive um, a thriving, successful approach to business and entrepreneurship like, like the members of Crowd1. Yeah, so... Let's put it this way. Everyone wants to be rich or have more money, don't you think? Everyone wants to have a better place to live or you know, do something more. And then they get started and the old thinking kicks in and tells them, you can't do this. You're too little, you're too small, or you're too poor, or you're too this, you're too that. And the old thinking that has to go away that's why you say to people, if you, have, if you want something to change, you got to change. And it's about repetition. It's actually doing it every day because, you know, we got this 24-hour period. We can't go back to yesterday and change something. And tomorrow hasn't come here yet. So it's these 24 hours when you wake up in the morning. So. My mentor, he told me, you got to have a program of success when you wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. If you don't have one, you don't have one. And program of success, is that, that defining what your day will look like, the art of manifestation and visualization, is that it? It's more like you got to have a plan. A plan. So okay. when you wake Focus. up in the morning, you got to know this, I got to do this, 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 and you write it down, you know, and that turns into a habit. You start writing things down. Mm -hmm. And that also is the second thing that you will pick up because your subconscious will play with you now, mm. you know, starting to relate to what you're doing. So in addition to personal development and really having a plan for your day and, and sort of executing on that plan, what else to sort of round off, what else would you like to convey um, to the members of Crowd1, to um, the strategies of being that resilient entrepreneur in this day and time as well, because it does give a lot, it means a lot of effort, but there's also a lot of rewards. Yeah. People won't change on, until conviction kicks in. So there's so many things. You've got to surround yourself with successful people, of course, you know, the positive thinkers, like you on, uh, used to say, and, and also realize that it takes time. Time is your best friend. Mm because nothing is happening over a night. It takes time and you got to stay on course. And when you have a plan, follow your plan. 
you know, be focused. But most of all, it is about those small things. You gotta realize that when we're born, you know, we come out of our mother's womb. There's not a tag that says, oh, this one is a loser. You put him over here. And then another one comes out and says, oh, this one is a successful one. We all come out with the same chances in life. And we don't have the same starting point, but we have the same possibilities. And what's your personal definition of success? What is success to you? What, how is it defined in your life? It's so personal, but success is being better than you were yesterday. And don't compare yourself with other people because uh, you can only compare yourself with yourself. And be a little bit better and um, just stay on course, stay on your path, you know, uh, fulfill your dreams. Fulfill your dreams. And last but not least, what is the best thing with being part of Crowd1 out of an entrepreneurial perspective? I think because you get both worlds, you know, here the founders have created a system uh, which is astonishing. Um, for all the people around the world. And what we did, we put some, some old-fashioned education too, because that's unheard of in the online marketing uh, business. So you get the best of the both worlds. You can make money, you can educate yourself, you can be part of a team and grow as a person. Educate yourself, be part of a team, and grow as a person. Yeah. With those words, thank you very much, Peter Jacobson. Ladies and gentlemen,